So here we are on the bathing platform, the S78. Uh, and as you can see, we're on the up-down platform. So hydraulic for launching your jet ski or your tender. Um, this boat also has the indicated garage door. So the garage door uh, lifts up and then your tender can slide in there. It will take uh, up to 4.45 uh, meters or a Williams 445, uh, should you like those. Um, entrance to the crew cabin is on the opposite side. So you have two opening sections. Uh, crew cabin in there, you've got a twin cabin, separate shower and stall in there. There's also entrance to your engine room. That's the main way through to it. Back end of the boat is really beautifully designed. Yeah, we've got these lovely curvatures of teak, uh, touching on with the, the, the painted surfaces, and then a really good chunky uh, stainless steel. You know, when, you, when you walk up here, you, it gives you a great purchase, but it just feels quality. Central staircase, integrated uh, passer rail, and then the bottom step is where we hide all those power cables uh, and other the TV cables that you might need. So coming up onto the aft deck, you really get an appreciation of the size of it. Um, this area um, is currently got no uh, seating in it. Uh, the owner's chosen to, to, to do away with it. And it, I quite like it actually, it gives you uh, lots of space, but you can have a, another seat. Uh, it's modular, same as on the, on the other side, uh, and gives you option to, to have a bit more choice. Staircase up to the flybridge, um, nice design feature out the stainless steel handrails, uh, nice teak steps, and then over to uh, your eating area, outside eating area. Up down uh, table, this actually unfolds as well, uh, as well as pivots in, seats move in and out. Uh, and also the seat over there comes over, so it can be a really big C-shaped seating area. Integrated third helm station um, to give you a nice view up the side decks. And they are big wide side decks, obviously on either side, up to that four deck area. Coming into that view into your saloon. Now, equally good looking forward as it is out onto this amazing aft deck. Um, so moving into uh, the galley and dinette area, uh, are facing, so you really are involved with all those people on the aft deck. Big sub-zero fridge, as we have on all boats over 80 feet now. Freezer units underneath there. Should you want to, you've got a really nice integrated uh, Melia uh, uh, wine cooler there. Dishwasher, oven, cooktop, and then all your appliances are all storage up forward. What's quite nice on here is it hides it all beautifully out of the way. Choice of uh, stones or quartzes are on this boat. Uh, and behind, up against the window, a few drop lockers under there and some more above your head height. This boat also has the sliding partition, so you can give yourself a bit of break from the saloon area into the uh, galley by sliding that across. Dinette, nice light airy um, dining room table so it doesn't impact on the space. Um, this is a fixed one, but you can have this so you can slide it right back out the way uh, if need be. Coming up forward into the saloon, you really notice these big, big, windows they're actually curved so they're curved in two directions so you've got the curve down the side and curved uh, uh, lengthways um, big seats really big I mean I'll, I'll take a seat on it just to give you an impression I know I'm not a big big chap but you can really see the size of the windows and the whole area we're in uh, lovely style coffee table slightly off center uh, carpet to, again reflect that that styling we're going on, on the whole boat whether it's on the aft deck or here in the saloon as well as that lovely two-seater TV behind that pops up uh, should you want to, and then a nice wet bar under here which has a drinks fridge, a nice maker. Electric blinds drop down uh, to give you the privacy at night, and then you come up into the helm and this rather nice seating area. So, helm is integrated uh, glass bridge, two screens, and then your engine instruments uh, in front of you. Uh, really good spot up here, fully adjustable seats, arm rests. Pop out doors so you again you can gain access to the foredeck or the guys back and everything once you've slid the chair forward is within easy arm reach. Above me is the opening section so as on all S and V boats uh, this whole roof slides back uh, to let lots of fresh air and light into it. And on the opposite side we have one of our, our key features of, of these boats is a nice seating area and when you're sat here with your drop window You've got this beautiful view back of uh, the aft deck, the saloon. I really appreciate how big this place is. So here we are in the master cabin of the S78. Um, really nicely designed uh, cabin with lots of features. Uh, these beautiful integrated lights. These are touch sensitive, so you can dim them or turn them on and off just by a uh, uh, touch. That nice feature bulkhead. And then 
what this client has gone for. This boat is an integrated storage unit, so plenty of uh, drawers and cupboards, or you can have a, a set here of there should you want to. Back across the, the obviously the full size master bed, storage under there as well, so big pull out drawers. Uh, and then moving aft, you go into uh, your full beam en suite. Lovely uh, shower on the far side with a rain head on the top, coming back into his and her sinks. Wardrobe spaces, so you've got a lovely mirrored door, uh, full height wardrobe there, and then on the outboard side, you have a half height with drawer storage underneath that. And then moving forward, we have the, the vanity unit, so good storage either side, cupboards, your choice of chair, so that comes in a variety of options for you. Integrated, uh, nice little vanity uh, mirror, knick-knack storage underneath there, and of course, those big brother windows. You know, imagine we're not in Stonehouse Creek in Plymouth, uh, but we're at your favorite uh, anchorage. So waking up in the morning, electric blinds should you want to, to lift up and then letting those big views come out. And then coming forward, we have a nice 40 inch TV uh, integrated into this Macassar Ebony uh, satin finish unit and then into your private foyer. So separate staircase coming down, uh, washer, dry units there should you want to, or combined, plus plenty of more storage. And then, like I said, take it up your own staircase and then we'll go and have a look at the forward accommodation. So coming down into the guest accommodation, and this really is their separate area. You know, the owner's got his own staircase down. Here we are in the three double cabins uh, dedicated to guests. Starboard side, we have the queen cabin. Um, full size double bed in here. You can have this as twins if you want to. Big knife window on the outside there to let the light in and good headroom. You know, I'm, I'm no, not tall, but there's plenty of room above my head. Uh, we have obviously a wardrobe, vanity unit, TV in here, as well as if I close this door, You've got a Jack and Jill door, so the day head becomes the ensuite to this cabin, should you want to shower outboard. So again, that window passes all the way through. Moving on out, we go across the corridor into the twin cabin. This can have the option of a slide today over bunks, should you want to. This is actually comes with a, just the a standard fixed ones. But as you can see, I'm in the lowest part of the boat, but uh, I've got plenty of head height above me. Big window, lots of storage. TV goes on the outside of the wardrobe, and then forward, you have the ensuite, which has a big windows, shower, everything you need. Going forward, more storage underneath here. So great space to pop those, uh, all the, the luggage that your guests bring with them. And up forward into the forward VIP. Uh, so this is your, your main guest cabin, as it were. Big windows, lots of uh, uh, views out onto the sea there. As always, overhead lockers, uh, wardrobe, vanity units, um, lots of real nice lighting features, and of course, uh, your ensuite behind here. I hope you agree that the S78 is a, is a really strong boat. You know, having that separate access to your guests area, um, having the nice uh, private access to the uh, master cabin to give you that privacy really is a a bonus and hopefully sets us apart from, from the other boat. So here you find us on the flybridge of the S78 outside uh, Shed 10 here at Newport Street. So if you hear some background noise, that's because where the S78 and indeed the Y78 behind us are built. Now, as a one of our platform boats, um, the Y and the S really differ from the, the main deck upwards. Uh, on the flybridge here, you can see the Y has a huge flybridge behind us, but we don't really lose an awful lot on the S. We still have a, a fully integrated wet bar, which has the barbecue sink. This boat has got an ice maker fitted here, and then the drop-in cool box behind us. Behind me, the stairs up from that aft, huge aft deck, and then down onto the, the Ronda settee. Very different, not that integrated uh, GRP seating we do on a lot of boats. This is a bit more styled deep seating and as you drop down you get out of the wind and it also creates a bit more privacy because you have the comins raised up either side of you and then moving forward um, good size nice beam on this boat past the twin helm seat or navigator seat and helm seat forward to uh, what I think is a really nicely designed helm twin navigation screens uh, this client has gone for a Zenta joystick control it is a shaft boat but you can still have that joystick control should you want to uh, your thrusters here on the, on the outside of the wheel. And just a nicely well 
designed, lots of nice design features. You've got the integrated lighting uh, there behind the screen. And of course, this will drop down into the helm to keep it protected from the weather. Hydraulic bimney, this pops up over the top. Uh, this can be manual or hydraulic. It's quite a big unit. Um, so it's quite impressive when you see that come up and over. Looking up forward, we've got the forward deck seating. Nice sun bathing up there, nice wing lockers on either side. You can see underneath the, the teak, but a real nice place to be able to talk to your guests and then obviously back to you. Beside me here, you've got the day seats. So these can um, have infills underneath that pop out to turn them into nice day beds, get you out of, the, out of the wind, and so you can have a good conversation with the person driving. And then behind me, you might be able to notice the Kenai Princess fans is where we actually started. That's uh, the shed where the Project 31 was built. And you might have seen it at recent boat shows, uh, our Charlotte. Uh, which we've restored to her former glory. So here we are in the engine room of the Princess S78 and as you can see for such a sleek performance cruiser you've still got plenty of headroom down here on the lower deck and in the engineering space. I'm 5'11 and there's plenty to spare um, for headroom. On the port and starboard sides here are the 1900 variant V12 MAN diesel engines and they deliver a great performance on the S78 anywhere between 36 and 39 knots depending on the level of specification you go for on this model. Uh, underneath my feet here you've got the start batteries for the engines which are easily to hand for checks and maintenance and then just forward of there you have the Seacox and sea strainers for the cooling water for the engines as well which again are, are easy to get to for servicing and daily checking. On the forward bulkhead here you've got all of your electronic distribution behind these panel doors. DC on the starboard side, AC on the port side. Again, really, really great that you can get to them with ease down the center line here in the engine room. Outboard of the engines, we've got two diesel fuel tanks and they give a total fuel capacity of 6,000 liters. As we move aft, under the sole here, this tread plate moves up quite easily and you've got access to even more seacocks and strainers which are servicing cooling for Things like your optional Seakeeper stabiliser, your water maker, and your hydraulic systems running bow thruster, stern thruster, windlasses, etc. You've got a secondary access here up this ladder, so you can come down from the cockpit floor if you need to through quite a large hatch here, about 500 millimetres across, um, which is great for when you're checking the engine room underway. It's a much safer way to get into the engine room when the boat's underway at sea. Um, and it's really good for those refit periods when you're having a lot of maintenance done in the engine room and the boat's not in service with its owner or guests. As we move aft, here on the port side, just aft of the engine room, you can see right here you've got the garage uh, mounted on the side of the garage housing here. You've got battery charger 2 and battery charger 1 to service all of your DC systems on board. On the forward bulkhead, there's also an inverter which we've included on the S78 model to support the audio system so you have no interruptions when you're trying to play music on board and it also helps to protect the equipment should you have any issues with shore power. On the centre line here behind the walkway between the engines we've got the optional gyro stabiliser which is a Seakeeper 18 on this model uh, and it's fantastic when the boat's at anchor, makes the boat a lot more comfortable um, should you have any residual swell and can't get to that perfect anchorage because it's too busy filled up with other boats for the day. We've put a little bench across the top here which is great for placing your tools on, parts and just general maintenance and servicing when those times come into play. And then as we move aft further down here on the starboard side, I've got the air conditioning system here just outboard of the walkway. And then underneath is all your domestic batteries, which, uh, which supply 24 DC throughout the boat for all of your house systems. Underneath the sole, we've uh, purposely put some access hatches in here, which are conveniently located over everything you might need access to. Things like the shaft seal, the inlet seacock for the aircon raw water, and the aircon sea strainer itself. I'm now passing through the engine room door, which uh, connects the engine room to the crew cabin. Uh, and as you can see, it's a really substantial door, watertight, great soundproofing between this compartment and the engine room with a visual um, aid in the window here. So you can look in the engine room, make your checks, and if you don't need to go in for any reason, there's no need to. Over here on the starboard side, you've got a, a, a good sized galley for, uh, for this compartment. You've got a great counter space here with a fridge underneath. And then above, you've got the 
convection microwave with storage above as well. So plenty of facilities for the crew to make a meal, um, have a snack, whatever it is they need to do while they're down here. You've got a full height hanging locker here also, just aft of the galley space with the AV system, should you choose to have it on this boat, um, mounted in the top there for easy operation for the crew. Inboard, you've got the two crew berths here. They're really good size, plenty of space between the two, so there's not really a favoured bunk. They're both about the same. They've got independent reading lights as well, should one crew want to read a book in the evening and the other get some rest. And underneath the lower berth, you've also got uh, three cubbies for storage and another large storage locker after the berths before the transom door out onto the bathing platform as well. Um, this particular owner has also gone for the 24 inch TV, uh, which again just makes it a little bit more comfortable for the crew and gives them something to entertain them when they're down here resting after a long day out on the water. But my favourite thing about this crew area on the S78 is the size of the heads compartment. It's a really good size, fantastic headroom just like here in the cabin um, with a separate shower stall. So you can go in the shower and use the shower without getting the entire bathroom soaking wet. Um, and then you've got a really good size vanity sink and, uh, and head as well. So as we move aft from the bathroom and the berths here, um, you've got three really good sized steps up to the transom door, which pantographs open to the starboard side and leads you out onto the bathing platform of the S78. Um, what's a really nice feature also with that door closed uh, is this port light here. So on the inboard bulkhead, you've got an opening port light to give you natural ventilation down here for the crew. So in summary, the Princess S78 is a really great option for anybody looking for a sleek and high performance cruiser um, with the ability to accommodate two crew members comfortably down here uh, for extended cruising should you need that extra help and want to spend more time enjoying the boat. The S78 really is all about that main deck. You know, that main deck when it runs into a huge aft deck, um, the inside outside living, the ability to have different areas where you can converse with your friends and family, um, get away, maybe read a book for a bit, but also have a great time partying. Uh, I hope you agree that it is a, a truly spectacular boat. If you'd like any more details on this boat, please get in contact with your local dealer and they'll be delighted to help you.